Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. We are back. I'm so sorry for being gone the last week. I have very good reason. Uh, maybe you guys will find out about uh, some other time. But yeah, probably I, I had an amazing week. I do apologize that there was no Skyblock time in that week. But I had a great time. And uh, maybe I'll fill you guys in about it at a different or later date. But we're back. We're going to be easing back into things today. It is Mayor Derpy out of all, all mayors that I could be when we come back. And uh, we have some Inferno minions that desperately need to be fueled, as well as a few other things we need to attend to. So if you guys are excited for all that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Feels good to be back. Let's jump right into it. Super quickly, though, if you do ever find yourself checking on the Hypixel store, whether it be for an ongoing or upcoming fire sale, maybe you need some Skyblock gems for some booster cookies, or you want to check out the limited time um items over at taylor's shop the seasonal bundles either way whatever you find yourself picking up don't forget to use my career code on checkout it is code zach spelled just like my name z-a-c-h if you type that in that checkout you'll actually save five percent on your purchase it's a great way to support myself on the channel i do greatly appreciate everyone using my code you guys are the best but without further ado let's get right to today's episode today i want to start something that i might regret i want to start doing one high class archerfiend dice roll a day until we either get a die or we get a hundred million coins that's the goal. Uh, these things cost over 6.6 .6 million coins per roll and can quickly drain someone's bank account to absolutely zero. As a matter of fact, I only have enough to not even roll this thing 100 times if I wanted to, so we'll have to make some coins along the way. I've already gone ahead and taken out 6.6 .6 million into my purse, though, and I left-clicked by accident. No way we get a 1, bro. We can't start off with a 1. I'm going to start my day off with minus 300 health. Oh, my goodness. See, this is how they get you. A four. Okay, I'll settle with a four. We're gonna roll this thing again tomorrow. I did two spins today though, okay? That oh my god, just minus twelve mil, you know? It, like I, I really regret this. I saw a bunch of comments saying that to try and get the die, just roll it once a day, man. Like knowing me, I'll never settle with like a, a roll that's like negative health, you know? So that's uh I already don't like this idea. This is a terrible idea. Whoever commented this, I need to go back and find their comment and like hide them from my channel. I never want to see your comments again. That is so tragic. Minus 12, I don't know what I was expecting, but as you can see, you can lose money really quickly with these things. So if you guys want to watch me lose money, tune in every single day and uh, I'll roll one of these bad boys. But man, I already hate this. Now there's one main thing that I was really looking forward to do. Um, and now that it is Mayor Derpy, it actually turned Mayor Derpy either this morning or last night, but very recently is um, the Inferno Minions. I want to have these guys fueled basically all five days of Derpy is the goal. And so we need to start today. So I went ahead and mined a little bit more coal. I need nine stacks of fuel gabagool to be able to run these things. So let me go ahead and actually craft how much more do I need? Uh, yeah, two stacks. Exactly. Okay. So let's go and make those. Perfect. Then we'll grab out our nine stacks of fuel gabagool, turn this into 24 heavy, just like so. And then we'll turn it into two hypergolic grade fuels, just like that. Uh, we can go ahead and put our sulfur coal in the chest for the time being. Now we need uh, Inferno Fuel Blocks, we need our Gabagool Distillate, and with that we should be able to make the um, highest tier of Crude Gabagool Inferno Minion Fuel. So let's go ahead and make two of these bad boys. Uh, there we go. That's what we need for today. Now, I actually want to run eye drops on these things, and that's the thing I'm kind of going to run out of during this Mary Derpy, which is very unfortunate. Um, to make eye drops, uh, just to kind of refresh everyone's memory, my, myself included, we need a Hydra Head, two stacks of Explorable Carrots, four Chili Peppers, and two stacks of Enchanted Carrots. So I need to head over to the Rift. I need to get some Explorable Carrots. I don't think I have any saved anywhere. Let me put those back in there as well. So yeah, let me go Warp Wizard. I'm going to go ahead and mow down some of the Carrots with my little Horse Zooka, I guess you could call it. And uh, I'll be back in a sec when we have enough for two stacks of Explorable Carrots for some eye drops. Luckily, that did take like no time. We can go ahead and slap those in there. Go Warp Dark Auction. Head around round back to the ender chest grab those let's head back to the island hopefully i have some enchanted carrots i want to do a little bit of farming today honestly i always enjoy whenever i come back to skyblock after taking a break for a few days and i had a valid reason but uh we are back now so let's go ahead and grab everything out but yeah garden's always just a chill way to kind of ease back into skyblock after like being offline for a week so let's go ahead and grab that there we go we can put that back in there we should have everything we need now if i'm not mistaken so we can go ahead, head in here. We're going to go and put the uh, Inferno Minion Fuel in here, as well as an Eye Drop. Then we can head on over to this dude, put in the Inferno Minion Block and an Eye Drop. And uh, yeah, now these things are chugging away. So excited to see, hopefully, some returns as of tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. We're currently sitting at four Vertexes. And uh, yeah, that's the name of the game right now. We need a ton of these things, I'm going to be honest, just for everything. 
just so many crafts that I want to do that require um, just an absurd amount of stuff. So I kind of want to upgrade the Wisp Pet also to Epic. Um, it's going to take me nine Vertexes. So it's not terrible, but it's it's something on my list of things I kind of want to do. This would be really good to get. Uh, this will take me 24 Vertexes, the Blaze Tech Ham Radio. Also, uh, kind of want to do some Indian upgrades and then Tactical Insertion for Museum. Need another four for that. Annihilation Cloak. That wouldn't be terrible either. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff I need, but it just takes a ton of vertexes. So hopping back over to the garden, been farming a little bit this morning, just took care of my visitors, and I'm now sitting at a little over 4,000 copper, and it's finally time I do the last upgrade in a certain tier being crop upgrades. I forgot, I still haven't done the last crop upgrade for mushrooms, so I figured, you know what, let's just get this out of the way. A whole new, a whole part of the garden basically done. All of our crop upgrades will be at tier 9, which is going to be amazing, and we will have all the Skyblock XP available from this little menu. So let's go ahead and do that. That also gives us 5 more farming fortune for mushroom and 1 Skyblock XP, but now our crop upgrades are completely done. As a matter of fact, if we go into skill-related farming... Crop upgrades, 90 out of 90. So all the footage you guys saw was yesterday. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to play as much yesterday as I really wanted to. Um, so it's already time to refill the minions. I went ahead and got some exportable carrots because I do have one more um, water hydra head. And you know what? Actually, I'll probably go do some spooky fishing for an hour right after I fuel these things just because I think that's going to be... Uh, hopefully beneficial. Hopefully I get some Hydra Heads and that'll help like get us some more eye drops for the, the last few days of Derpy here. But we do have enough to make some more, which is always a good sign. So let's go ahead and actually grab out two stacks of Enchanted Carrots, just like so. Then we need to go ahead and grab out some Chili Peppers and that should be everything. Some eye drops like so. Go ahead and put the Chili Peppers away. Uh, we now have enough for two more days of eye drops, so that's actually really good. Let me go ahead and sell some of these uh, stray crops in my inventory just so we have enough room to actually make the fuel because this is the part that gets a little tedious. So let's go recipe coal. I did also mine some coal yesterday, though, that I did not film, so that is good at least. We have uh, 4,900 enchanted coal, so that should last us hopefully a little bit, but let's go ahead and try and do this craft 256 times. Can I fill my inventory like that? I can. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and grab out some very crude gabagool. And then we just start turning our stacks of sulfur coal into stacks of fuel gabagool. So yeah, pretty fun stuff. I need, wait, nine stacks, right? So if I do, that's one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft all this into heavy gabagool really quickly. We should have 24. Um, yeah, okay, geez, that's actually really good. Then we'll go and make two hypergolic tier gabagools, obviously. And then we can go and put our coal in here and we'll put our very crude back in here as well. Um, I don't really care where I put the stuff. As long as I have nine stacks for tomorrow, I'm kind of chilling and I'm a little bit short on that. So I'll have to craft a little bit more, but we, we should have enough enchanted coal on this, which is always a good thing. Let's grab this, our gabagool distillate. And then we'll go ahead and make the uh, Inferno fu Inferno Minion Fuel, just like so. Um, 20x speed multiplier, crude Gabagool being the specialty. We got our eye drops. Let me go ahead and put that away. And the Gabagool Distillate. And also, I forgot. Let's check and see how the minions did. So first off, we have our Tier 6 Minion. Let's see how it did for the first day of Derpy. Two Vertexes. Okay, I will actually take that. How'd this other guy do over here? Let's see. A vertex. Okay, so three vertexes in one day during Derpy. That is um, hopefully a sign of things to come. Let's go ahead and fuel it. We'll go ahead and right click it with the eye drops, obviously, uh, like so, and then like that. Beautiful. Um, that puts us up to, though, seven Inferno vertexes. So we're getting really close to actually being able to do something with those, which is always huge. And then also, we, we got back a bunch of very crew Gabagool. So that is very encouraging stuff there. And yeah. Pretty happy with that. Three vertexes. I can't complain. We got them fueled up again. How much time is left in Mare Derpy now? Uh, we got three days left. So hopefully I can make sure I hop on at the exact same time tomorrow morning and refuel these guys again so that they can actually stay on top of things. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll go do some spooky fishing and hope I can get some uh, Water Hydra masks. Uh, I finally got a Water Hydra and I got two Fish Affinity Talismans instead of uh, a Water Hydra head. That is unfortunate. But so far, I've gotten a few things that could become useful for me in the future or one that will. A bobbin scriptures. I was fully out, and if we ever want to get bobbin time five on this entire set, we need uh, seven more now in total. So, 
not terrible, but um, definitely still a ways away. And then we also got a deep sea orb, five soul fragments. Like, dude, I, I wish I could sell this stuff because some of the stuff I just most certainly don't need, but uh, it's okay. It is what it is. Uh, we're up to, what, the 46 soul fragments now. Uh, I have an extra six deep sea orbs. Yeah, we're in a, we're in a pretty decent spot, I'm going to be honest. Now, the one thing that we're lacking on from fishing is water hydra heads. We've, I wonder how many we've used in total for our Inferno minions. It's definitely been a ton. Um, they used to not have that item in the craft for eye drops, except for I only really started placing the minions down once that item was already in the craft. So we've gone through a ton of water hydra heads. We just need a few more to hopefully get us through Derpy. Um, like, honestly, if we get one more, then, uh, then that lasts us for the rest of Derpy, ideally. So... Yeah, we'll see if we can get lucky, but I think uh, Spooky Fishing is coming near an end because I've been doing this for a while now, so it must be, but yeah, we're on the last little bit here, so a little bit sad. Something I've been trying to do this week, too, is using all my experimentation tables, and uh, honestly, haven't really been getting lucky on any insane books as of late. A few respites, and uh, yeah, honestly, that's about it. That's, like, noteworthy, like my last few, respite 3, 2, looting 4, chance, siphon... Yada, yada, yada. Honestly, a bunch of mid, gonna be honest. But one of these days, surely we'll get something good. And the reason why I've been doing this way more recently is because if we go ahead and call it my boy Vincent, there's actually a die, if I'm not mistaken, that you can actually get from this. Uh, yeah, this one here, from Super Pairs. Drop from complete Super Pairs in the experimentation table. It's a 1 in 10,000 chance from doing the highest tier um, from metaphysical experiments. But the Natashiko die, uh, 845 of these things have been dropped. My delusional self thinks that I can actually get one. They're only worth 83 mil, so I mean, maybe we can, but I'm going to continue to do this every single day until we get at least one. And then, honestly, I, I just need to stay on top of doing them forever because the more max level enchants I can get, uh, the better our claymore is going to be or hype or whatever we decide to put these on. We got the Siphon 5 in here. Uh, what's another big one? Ender Slayer 7 is also super nice. Um, Blast Prod 7. I got Prod 7 book, so... Yeah, we got some max level enchants in here, Cleave 6, but saving them all for the Claymore. Uh, I just feel like a maxed out Claymore just looks so clean, and a lot of those enchants don't really benefit my hype, so kind of uh, okay putting those on there. But yeah, um, make sure you do your super pairs. You never know when you'll get the die. So unfortunately, that is actually all the time I have for today's video. Uh, I probably had the busiest week of my life. I do greatly apologize for no videos and kind of not really letting you guys know where I was going, but... I had probably one of the best weeks ever, so um, yeah, don't worry about that. I saw a lot of people in my Discord like, dude, he hasn't uploaded in a week. He must be like dead, but no, no, I'm chilling, bro. I'm, I'm doing just fine. I'm doing great. So uh, yeah, appreciate everyone who was uh, reaching out and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm going to ease back into things here. I also want to check out all the new changes on Alpha because we checked it out already, but they've been doing like daily updates to stuff and a lot has changed. So uh, that'll be really interesting and maybe we'll do some dungeons too to cap off Derpy. But thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use code Zach whenever you find yourself checking out on the Hypixel store. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.